Hi guys, and welcome to my channel, Memoirs of an Empress, A Silver Lining. If you've been here before, welcome back. If it's your first time, welcome and happy summer because the summer is definitely here. Praise God, glory to God. We are in a new chapter. We have made it through a pandemic, what the world calls a pandemic, and I've always called it a plague. We have made it through. So it is time for us to give God some glory and just glorify him for the things that he has done and for the things that he is doing. We have made it through with God. Praise God. Hallelujah. I am here today and the topic um, I want to speak about, this is a daily devotional today and the topic I'd like to speak about is going to be about your children, which I know is a very touchy and it's a very, um, it's a very specific and timely topic. Um, this is something that I wanted to speak about all last week and for some reason I just wasn't able to do it. Now this morning I'm on my way um, to um, the beach and I'm like, I have to get this vlog done. Sometimes, you know, um, so, so many things will get in the way and I really have to push to get a vlog done. So I want to speak this morning to you about children. The enemy is definitely attacking our children. And, you know, if you think about it, um, first they had to go through a pandemic. And so when children have to go to school and school is supposed to be a safe place, a place where they learn, a place where they can grow, a place where they can meet friends, a place where, you know, they have teachers who love them and a peaceful and safe atmosphere. And when you think about that, wearing a mask, ha having to sit in a chair and learn and you know, wear a mask, that would put, you know, um, stress and just questions on a child's head. Like, you know, oh my goodness, you know, I'm, I'm learning my ABCs, but how can I learn my ABCs when I have to, you know, worry about, you know, why we have these masks on? And so if you think about it like that, you see that the enemy is attacking our children. Okay, um, and then of course, all the crime, all the terrible, horrible acts that we're hearing about involving children in settings that are supposed to be safe. So with that said, I want to um, let you know that in this time, we have to lift our children in prayer. We have to lift our children in prayer. What that means is our prayer life has to be consistent. Our prayer life has to be genuine. Our prayer life has to be specific. And our prayer life has to be powerful. And it's very important. It's very important I've been saying this in prior videos that the Lord has said, now is the time to get in the covenant. Tell them, now is the time to get in the covenant. Judgment is here. Now is the time to get in the covenant of God. It's protection there. It's Holy Spirit there. And your prayer life will connect. Everything will be in alignment and you build this hedge of protection around your children. Um... So I wanted to speak about that. Now, when we have little children, it's important. I gather my little children right around me. We hold hands, get on our knees, and we pray together. Children learn from seeing and hearing. So if they see you set the example, they will know how to call on the name of Jesus, how to get on their knees, and how to pray. And it's so important, excuse me, somebody's writing me this morning. Okay, I like those texts. So, um, excuse me, 
So it's very important we show by example, okay? This is not the time to um, just go to church and let the children hear the word of God. Of course, that's, that's part of it. But the main part is that God, godly devotion be in your homes. Godly devotion be where you go. Because the atmosphere you create can go everywhere with you. See, that's the big deal. Now, I tell you, I'm on the road to evangelism. And I've been on this road. I've been on my evangelistic road. I've been evangelizing for many, many, many years. Just different levels. I don't know where God is taking me with this. But I am in alignment and I'm going. And I'm so thankful. Um, and so, I want you to know, you... Creating this atmosphere for praise, this atmosphere for worship, this atmosphere for thanks, this atmosphere for atmosphere, excuse me, for gratitude, this atmosphere for um just love. You creating that atmosphere and you taking that everywhere you go, and your child feeling it, seeing it, being a part of it. And you take your child's hand and you let that child know this is how we serve God. This is a lifestyle. This is how we walk. We are living sacrifices to God. And then you put them in that atmosphere. So when the enemy tries to attack, even if you're not there, that Holy Spirit is there. And sometimes, sometimes, listen to me, it's that one child that finds a hiding space. And when so many people get hurt or killed, that child that was able to get in that secret place because you taught them that, they will get there and God will deliver them. Sometimes that's what happens. I want to create that space for all of my children. And I needed to share it with you. And when it comes to our teenage children, our young adults, that's a toughie. Because young adults don't see, sometimes, sometimes they don't see that the enemy has this trap for them. And sometimes they'll rise up against you. Yes, they will. I've seen it. And um, what you want to do is remember Love on your children and keep the door open no matter what. No matter what they've done. Okay, you've done this. We're going to discuss it, but the door is open. Okay, you said this to me. We're going to discuss it, but the door is open. Okay, you even you may have tried to uh, do something even physically, physical to me, but the door is open. And I know some people are saying, oh, no, you know, if my kids raise their hands to me, that's it. Well, if you say that's it, then Satan has his door open for that child or that young adult. Or that older though. Yes, that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. And so you want to look at every child, older child, like the prodigal son. And you want to keep the doors open for your children. Because if you close the door, Satan has a door waiting that he's saying to them. He's saying to them, come on in. And he wants their soul. He wants their life. Okay? He wants their li lives. I have a godson that's actually the largest influencer on Instagram. And I remember him, and he's a sweet boy. But the enemy will dangle these things in front of our children, and it's an illusion. And I call, I always call him the king of diamonds. And I say the king of diamonds has nothing on the king of kings. The king of diamonds can't stand beside the king of kings. Everything and only the things you do in Christ will last. Everything else is temporary. So today, I was laughing y'all early. I'm going to tell you why. Because I'm trying to be a little bit more of myself. Transparent. It's like when I started studying the word of God. And I made, and God told me to do this YouTube, but I, I ran from it a long time because I have another channel called The Little Team Hunters and where I show everyone parks and recreation for children. And um, 
you know, um, I was doing that. So I said, Lord, I don't want to do a spiritual platform. And at one time in my life, I was really into um, the signs. So I would tell you, I'm an Aries woman, and I would talk all about the Aries woman. And when I did the Aries woman, um, you know, I got a lot of views. I think I had 2 million views on one of my blogs, and I had a lot of comments. But um, astrology falls under, um, you know, it, it, it's not godly. And so I stopped doing it. And the Lord told me to do this platform. Now, this platform, I probably have less than 100 followers. And I rarely get comments. But I will tell you this. I'm going to wait on the Lord. I'm going to continue my platform because when he's ready to touch it, I know he will. And for me, it's never been about money. For me, it's never been about money. It's just about sharing the word of God, sharing um, help with daily devotionals because we're living in a day where everyone is thirsty and hungry for this type of material, even if they don't recognize it. So, guys, I just come to you today to tell you that the enemy has turned it up when it comes to our children and we want to provide the protection for them and the protection is free. The refuge is free. The hedge of protection is free. But we have to tap into it. We have to tap into it. And we have to become prayer warriors for our children. And teaching them to pray for themselves. And I'm telling you, I've seen it. Small children call on the name of God. My children do it. I have seen it. And um, I call my little boy King David. He is so sweet. And I call him King David because, you know, David, they thought David was just a little shepherd boy. They said, oh, David is just a little shepherd boy. David said, I killed a bear with my bare hands. And David told Goliath, you come to me with a javelin and a sword. But on this day, I come to you in the name of the Lord and I shall give you to the birds. And it was just amazing how brave and how courageous David was. And on that day, he did take down Goliath. Because he had the confidence and the belief and he had the courage and he came in the name of the Lord and he had the Lord's back and he brought down that giant. And my little boy is just like that and I call him King David. So while many know his name, that's my little name for him. And um, that was just a little delightful story. Um, I like to tell you at all times I have two channels. I have the spiritual platform and then I also have a channel called the Little Team Hunters in which I show you parks and recreation for children on a budget. I was tired of being the only black woman at a lot of these parks that are free, that are beautiful. And I wanted to share. I wanted my, not my people because I'm not racist at all, but I wanted some more colored people at these parks with their children enjoying the diversity. And so I wanted to share. I thought I would, that was also like a, Everything in my life is like godly. That was also something godly that I did. And I made this um, beautiful YouTube page where I'm showing you parks and recreation for children on a budget. Children and families. Um, so in this day, we want to just put God first and make sure that you're walking right. Because if you walk right, the power of God will be all with, will, it'll be all around you. And like I said, you take the atmosphere. So remember, there's certain things that can't go into a godly atmosphere. You know, your language should be correct. Your walk should be correct. And am I saying we are perfect? No, we are not perfect. We will always miss the, part, the mark of imperfection. But the Lord does say, if we try to be righteous, our, righteous will grow, our righteousness, excuse me, will grow like the waves. So never let nobody say, well, you know what? You're a human. You're going to make mistakes. Yes, you're going to make mistakes. But it doesn't mean you have to practice sin. It does not mean that. When you practice sin, you do sin and you know what you do, but you just do it. Being mindful of what you do is called growth. Growing and letting go of the things that you're, you know are not right, even if you have to wrestle and battle to do it. Sometimes, I'm going to tell you something. And I'm going to be very transparent. Um, so I'm walking this walk and I'm waiting for God to send me a kingdom spouse. But while I'm waiting, I have a lot of different people 
that are interested. And um, this one particular person, it's very hard to, um, you know, not entertain him. But um, I pray to God and I ask God to keep me in the will of God. And um, so far, so good. And I know it will be good because I call on the name of God. And girls, sometimes I get in my hot bath. I drink me a little glass of wine. And there's nothing wrong with the occasional glass of wine. Okay? Jesus made the wine. Drunkardness is a sin. But drinking here and there a little glass of wine is not a sin. And, um, you know, and I hurry up and I say my prayers. And I'm on the prayer line sometimes. And I just go to bed. And I have a good sleep. And so we have to press sometimes and push sometimes. But greater is coming if we wait on the Lord. And we have to be able to keep that atmosphere. I gained weight. Huh, guys, as you can see, look at my jiggly. All is jiggly. All is jiggly. I gained weight because sometimes <laughs> a comforter is the Holy Spirit. And you should always use that. But... um. Sometimes we use force comforters and I've been eating and I have to really get this weight off. So I'm happy actually. God said don't don't shy away from it. Okay, you gained a few pounds, but let them see you gained a few pounds because in a minute I'm going to show you my slim down body because I'm determined to lose this weight. And so maybe I'll do a vlog about that soon when I could say, "Let's go to the other vlog so we can see the before and after." But today, it doesn't matter. I'm taking all this skin and jiggly right to the beach and maybe a boat ride. And, um, you know, I'm still beautiful to my core. So, I love you guys. This is a daily devotional about our children. Um, one thing before I go, be real with your children because the world is real. Be real with your children because what they see on these phones are real. So talk to your children and reason with your children and teach your children and you be the greatest influencer, the most popular influencer in their lives. I love you guys. Be blessed. Um, tomorrow I am going to do a vlog about the fruit of the spirit. The fruit of the spirit. And... Um, I'm looking forward to that. I'm actually going to write that today when I'm out. Take my time and meditate and write about the fruit of the Spirit. So with that said, guys, you have a most blessed day. I love you a lot. And um, I, I'm bringing more content to you. Okay? And one day God is going to touch this site. And I just want you guys to know that it took a lot. And it, I waited on the Lord. I did this site through my darkest hours. I love you guys. Enjoy. Peace, love, joy, and light. Be well. Be encouraged.